Hello. I figured uh, I'd sit down and uh, just talk with you guys. I, I don't do these videos often or at all even. Um, I used to do them a lot when I was younger. You know, I would be like, thank you guys for 500 subs. Thank you guys for 1,000 subs. Um, but I, I started feeling like my... I don't, I don't think I was above it. I just felt like... Um, <laughs> I felt like my, my videos had to be special when they came out. And I felt like just me talking wasn't worth uploading. But I think that's a bit dumb. I think it's. A, I think I. I've, I recently started feeling very close to my audience on Twitch, and uh, I want to feel the same on YouTube. I've been streaming on YouTube as well recently, and it's been very nice. And I, I figured I'd just talk about how how what, what my plans are for the year, YouTube wise as well. Um, at the beginning of the year, I told myself that uh, like I'd make it a bit of a clean slate, and I'm I'm really not the type of guy that's like, New Year equals you know like. I don't think the fact that the passing of a year happens makes it so it's all a fresh start. It's just the passing of time, it, it, you know? But I think I needed a bit of that mental reset and allowing myself to feel that, like, <laughs> opportunity opening. This year I told myself that I, I, I'd be more active in the things that I love doing. I have a problem, and that tends to be overthinking everything. Like, I, I just think, I just talk myself out of doing a lot of things because I think of all... All the things I have to do to accomplish them. And I think I want to kind of stop that. And I want to start. Just simply doing. And I think that. You know. Hopefully there will be a chain reaction. That also help me in my daily life. You know. So uh, let's uh, let's change the scenery today. Let's. Uh, let's. I don't know. Let's change the scenery. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, I hope that sounds good. I got a little toy from my girlfriend for Christmas. I'm on the edge of a hill. I might fall during this recording. I look like a fucking <laughs> 80s interviewer, man. I look like I'm from a school book. What is this hair? <laughs> Did you see the recording equipment on this thing, man? I'm I'm so robbable right now. I. I thought I'd talk about what I want to do this year, what kind of things I want to accomplish. Is, um, am I still recording? Dude, my fucking thing turned off. Gotta put two batteries in this motherfucking thing. It's fine, I, I, I'm assuming the camera looks, still looks good. I'm gonna go on a little bit of the edge here, see if I fall. <laughs> I was just gonna explain what I wanted to do this year and the things I've been wanting to do and the projects I want to focus on. But luckily, uh, I, I put a QA and a on Twitter last night and Great questions were coming in. So I'm just going to answer a few questions because it pertains to what I was going to talk about anyways. What has been the hardest part for you about streaming and content making? I know the like general hardships, but I think you'd have to unique perspective on it being the editor for another streamer slash YouTuber and also creating your own content. Also love doing video. Thank you. I appreciate it. Go watch it. It's going to be in that corner, I think. Uh, this is going to start a little dark. I The biggest hardships, I think, is my mental health. Uh, I'm, some of you might know this already because I talked about it on stream, but shocker, YouTuber has bad mental health. I have a big problem with depressive episodes and um, just motivation. I stop caring about everything. It makes it difficult to be consistent, and I think YouTube nowadays is all about consistency and always being on, you know? So I think that's my biggest issue uh, with it. But I'm working on it. I mean, I'm seeing psychologists. I'm taking antidepressants. I'm... T TMI. <laughs> oh, there's so many cars coming here. I wouldn't have come here if I knew uh, there's gonna be so many cars. The view's nice. The view's very nice, though. But yeah, thank you for the question. That sorry that started with such a bummer fucking response. How is the balance between editing for Zaddy and also trying to get videos out for your own channel? Uh, getting an editor has been really helpful for me because editing for me and Tio like all the time has been tough to balance, especially if I'm streaming, if I'm doing more TO, if I'm doing... I used to do social media for him at the time as well, so it was really hard to balance. I had a lot on my plate. <laughs> the balance has been better since I've hired my editor minimap, dude. He's, he's, most of the videos you've seen are him. So yeah, it's really helping out with the balance, because I get to focus as well on editing for someone else to make money to pay my editor. Bit weird, right? When will it end? Hopefully soon. What slash who's your biggest editing influence? I'm gonna have to say TO. I mean, I, I used to be a huge fan back in like 2015, 2014. And when I started editing, I mean, I, it was very simple. Like, you know, as much as Tio's editing is a, it's a homey, cozy style where it's not over the top. But I think, I mean, I don't know, it was a very easy transition for me editing for him since I, you know, it was basically my style as well. So what's the edit you're most proud of? That's a tough one. I mean, I think time consuming, like, you know, and you know, how much effort and how much I learned, obviously it's a Vecna edit, the, the, the animation. It was a full 3D animation, it took me like, 18 hours total a video takes like to around 12 <laughs> so it's like yeah yeah edit wise i think it's uh 
you know, it's up there. I think it's up there with maybe, uh, I really like the one where Teal breaks the sound barrier. Oh! <laughs> There's something about it that, like, I gave, gave me chills when I did it. I, I really nailed what I was looking for. It was like a Dragon Ball, like, <sighs> like, it was really my, my vibe. Favorite editing slash content creation memory you have? That's a tough one. Uh, I don't know, probably just getting hired, man. Uh, I was I moved here to British Columbia. I don't know if this is a good view from this cam this lens. I moved here for, to be with my girlfriend, and I had no job. I, I tried to find jobs, but you know, no no one would hire me. So I just kind of grinded streaming and doing uh, commissions, and I was barely passing by then to hire me, and it kind of put a stability to my life. When my stream started doing better as well, like the combined incomes, like it's not spectacular, but. I can live with it, which was super, uh, that's, I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. What, what was it, the question? Content creation memory, yeah. Uh, realizing that I can do this for a bit, you know? Well, f till I'm tired of it, maybe. Or I don't make enough money, but getting enough combined income to be able to do this and not have to go to a normal job, I think is my favorite memory, I guess. How long does it take to edit a video both for your channel and Tio's? Yeah, I'd say around 12 hours for me. Like, it's over a few days. I, I personally, I don't know about, I can't speak for the editors. I cannot sit there for like 10 hours, <laughs> 8 hours, you know, and edit. I, I usually, it's like 6 is max for me because it's tedious and it makes my head hurt. <laughs> what music you grew up with and what's the first artist you remember at a young age? Annie Broccoli, probably. I have a really soft spot for um, Breaking the Habit by Linkin Park. That's like the first song I remember liking at a young age. Got any big plans organized for this year? Any sneak peeks or teasers regarding it? I really love music and I want to do more music. I want to get better at it. I don't think I'm where I think I'd like to be at this age regarding music. So, you know, I'm, I'm taking little steps here. I'm, I'm learning music theory on Skillshare because I bought a subscription accidentally. I was doing the trial and then it just charged me, so I was like, I guess I'll learn shit. I want to do a few things regarding, like, um, big ideas that I've had in the past and I just kind of put on the back burner because there's a lot to consider and I think I just need to take it step by step. I don't want to say too much, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Two years back I got like a thousand subs on Twitch, which was insane. I'm not near there anymore, but um, I, it was, the goal was to make a cooking stream. And that's one of them that I'd like to do, a cooking video slash stream for for the people that supported me back then. I know some of them don't watch me and it makes me feel terrible uh, that they supported me so much and I didn't deliver. So uh, I, I wanna do that at least. I'm opening up the window to a bit more sponsorships. I, I That's kind of the next step in, you know, making this a full-time job. Of course, I'm not gonna try to ruin my um, integrity for a quick buck, obviously. But um, if there's anything I think is easy to, to, for like you guys to digest as a sponsorship, then I'm gonna, I might take it. I think that's, uh, that'd be cool to be able to do this, you know, YouTube and streaming full time, full time, you know? And, uh, God, I wish I planned this out more, man. I'm, I'm like feeling on the spot. There's someone over there and I'm scared of them. <laughs> I wanna also just go out more and do things like this. I, I'm, I'm really happy I'm here. I'm vibing, honestly. I'm kinda just hanging out. I, I swear to God that I don't go home and something has stopped recording. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I'll check if it's still recording. I think we're good. I think we're we're chilling. And I'd like to, yeah, just experiment more with my channel. Um, from the past few months, I'm gonna just talk about whatever the fuck I want at this point. I'd love to do more fun things, not just me sitting there playing games. Um, there's a woman over there and I'm scared. I've been streaming consistently for the past, like, you know, week and a half. And I don't, it, it feels like I'm like this with my chat. I just wanna, I just wanna feel a little closer to my YouTube audience. Why, which way I've been streaming on YouTube for those that have been missing that, tune in. Get that parasocial relationship going, right? When did you start editing and have you actually studied it? No, I am. Um, I've always been interested. Uh, okay, let's start from the beginning. YouTube has been, I think. What the fuck was the question, dude? Yeah, I didn't study editing. I was just gonna, <laughs> wow, I'm yapping, bro. I'm just gonna cut it, man. No, I just, I, I put stuff on YouTube and you have kind of know, to know how to edit to do YouTube. So I just learned it, uh, you know, just tutorials. You know, you download a software, you look up tutorials, easy peasy, you know? And when I started working for TO, that's when like, you know, I was doing it consistently, even if it wasn't for me. You can learn anything on YouTube or Skillshare if they'll sponsor me. Skillshare is great. <laughs> How'd you mentally get past the phase of editing where you kind of know what you're doing, but not really? When I look at my stuff, I get embarrassed about it, so I can't do much yet, and it kind of holds me back from doing as much. You have to just kind of get, you have to be at peace with the fact that you won't be great from the beginning. And I mean, for me, in my case, for, with music, I just didn't upload anything publicly until I was, I felt like it was ready. 
it doesn't mean you have to do the same, but yeah, I, I still get that block sometimes, even now. I get in this part where I'm like just cutting everything together to make a video and I get like stressed, like I get blocked because I don't know, I don't know where the video is going and I feel like you can't just put moments together. Sometimes you need a little bit of a flow, right? And once I'm past that, it flows much easier and I get less stressed. Yeah, I still get it nowadays, so I totally get if that's how you're feeling. <laughs> any favorite songs? If, or if it's too hard to choose if you could recommend any song right now, what would it be? I'm kind of a, I'm a phase type of guy. I'm like in my, I, I just go back in time. I live off of nostalgia, really. And right now I'm, I'm uh, listening a lot to Candles by Daughter. It's a beautiful song. Right now I'm kind of into Virtual Aerobics by um, Wallows, which I really enjoy. <laughs> what instruments do you play and which one was the first one you learned? I think I, I got a keyboard, piano keyboard when I was a kid and I learned a few songs on it. I did not know how to play piano, I just happened to know Fear Release and River Flows in you, you know. But when I, uh, I got older, I learned guitar in school. I, I had a music class, so I just had to learn guitar and I'm glad I did because I always loved music. And so I learned it at about 16, 17. I'm learning piano better now. I think I'm like, I'm able to learn songs really well, which is good. Someone's staring at me, I'm really, really scared. I, I know how to play bass, I, I own a bass. I, I mean, I don't think bass is that hard when you just do a few note, like root notes, you know? And uh, I've, I've, I used to play a little bit of uh, electric drums at my mom's, but uh, I didn't, the kick drum would like make the whole apartment resonate, <laughs> so I didn't use it. So I, I, I wish I knew more of drums, but I'd love to get another drum kit eventually. That'd be really cool. Do you have any tricks or secrets for doing the perfect captioning for videos? For example, timing, font color, and maybe a little keyframe tricks. Just overall feel? Yeah, it is an overall feel. It's one thing I've noticed that I got better with is how much of the sentence you want to fit into a line of words before you cut to the next part of the sentence. I'll put an example as I'm doing it. Yeah, and then you're just finding movement. Like, I even know we animate our captions sometimes and finding the movement that match best, like the scream or the the way someone says something. Uh, so if someone's like, Ooh, like it's like a little wiggly font, you know, if someone's screaming, it's like a shaky font. Yeah, it's, it's it comes with you as you go and it's one of those things you don't even think about after a while. I really struggle with finding background music because I usually don't like what I find on YouTube. If you need to, to use music in a video, how do you search for it? I use Epidemic Sound, I have a subscription for it. And um, honestly, if you do a lot of videos, completely worth. The YouTube library is, uh, if you don't if you don't wanna spend money, the YouTube library is really good for it. Just look up like YouTube audio library. They have either songs you have to, you know, put a credit for or just like straight up fine, you can just use it. But yeah, Epidemic Sound is very good for it. How's your work-life balance? Editing takes a massive chunk of your time, I'm sure, how are you managing, you good? Uh, I think so. I, I'm I'm trying to get to a point where I take days off that I plan and that I don't end up working anyways. There's a lot of days that I'm like, I'm just gonna do music today, and then I end up doing like three things for work. Because sometimes like, like I said, I'm like streaming the next day on YouTube and Twitch, and then I have to do a thumbnail for YouTube. So I have to do the day before because I get up and stream. You know, it's definitely I think it's something in the future that I have to have a very good set schedule that I just don't work because I think it's healthy to take breaks. What's the video of which you're the most proud of? Man, I gotta say. I think the title of the video is like Armung Us. Armung Us, matey. Something like that. It's the one where we're like a pirates and it's like a traitor, like social deduction game. That storytelling in that, I, I don't know how I pulled it off, man. I, I am so happy with the result of that video. And I think to this day is the best video I've made. <laughs> it took forever though. The game releases you're excited for. Yeah. Um, the Supermassive games. I'm very excited for that. They've released a teaser for their new ones coming out and I love playing that with Tio, so. Do you have a favorite game to play at the moment? Yeah, uh, right now it's, I guess, Clone Hero. I, I bought a guitar, a, you know, Guitar Hero guitar. I've been playing it. I made my own song, too. Well, my own song. I, there was a song that I really enjoyed, so I made, like, a chart for it so that I can play it myself. And it was very challenging. It was fun. Otherwise, I think Hunt Showdown is uh, pretty fun. All right, that's pretty much all the questions. But yeah, I, I hope uh, you guys like this different style. I guess I don't even... I hope this turns out good. I'm going to go home, put it in the computer, and hopefully I don't cry. Uh, I don't think I have any closing statements. Yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited for what's coming. I, I'm just having fun, honestly. Yeah. See ya. Hello, uh, I'm walking home, uh, but I forgot to mention I, I have a Discord. Some people don't know I have a Discord, but um, I want to do more community nights. Uh, this year, which is basically um, playing games together with my community. So if you enjoy games and if you want to play with me and the people from the community, yeah, join. The, 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 the link's in the description. So yeah, do that. Bye-bye. <laughs>